Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. I'm in my new garage, my new house, basically. And next to me that you can't see that I'm, that I'm whacking is the micro. So this video is for a certain someone, so you know who you are, I won't say who you are, but you mentioned that you're missing my videos. I don't think anybody else is missing my videos, but this person said they are missing my videos, so I said I'd put one up for him. So basically I'm getting annoyed that I've still got the Micra to be honest with you um, I was planning to keep it as long as possible um, but it's just it's just in my way now I want the mini in this garage not this so my plan is to, to rip it apart so what I'll do is I'll take you off the tripod and you can have a quick look at um, what I've been doing to it really or bastardizing it yeah. <laughs> so this is the engine bay first of all so my plan today is, uh, you'll be joining me, <laughs> is to take the exhaust manifold off, um, take the spark plugs out. What I've been doing is, uh, I've done engine conversions in the past in my Vauxhall days, and the thing that always is the stalling block is the wiring loom. So what I've tried to do is, I can't see that because of the light there, but I, even if it's obvious of what it is, I've still tried to label all the wiring loom up even the injectors I've put one two and three four on uh, you know um, it's just just to make my life a bit easier like I said the stalling block for a lot of these conversions is wiring loom uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep I've even, even I've even this is all the headlights and everything like that now I know I'm not gonna need that but I want to take it all out as a whole and then I can uh, cut out what I don't need but if I've labeled it I don't want to think I, if I don't have labeled it I think where's that from etc so uh, let me show you the inside of the car what I'm doing to that uh, so taking the doors off it's much easier access because the dashboard's gonna have to come out uh, for the clocks so steering wheels gonna have to come off I've taken the, the seats out and everything like that just to try and make my life a bit easier so you all think I'm doing nothing you see but cracking on you know cracking on don't look back there <laughs> that's most of the crap from here to be honest with you so yeah, so I'll set you up on the tripod and I will, we'll have a go at taking this off. So this is what I want to uh, take off today. So let's uh, put some of the lambert. So with the best tip I can give you regards to especially taking exhaust manifold bolts off is lube them up a good few days before you're going to take them off. People spray WD-40 on or whatever you want to use. People spray it and then expect it just to come off straight away. That's not how it works. It's penetrating oil, so it needs time to work its way down the threads. So this is very rusty. So we're going to see. So that one's cracked. Yeah, some of them are nicer than others, but I'm, I'm predicting that some are going to be a bit nasty. But this, these looked horrendous until I wire brushed them off and I sprayed them with a bit of WD-40. So I've, I've been doing, I knew I was going to set these off today, so I've been spraying these, I've probably sprayed them about three or four times now, just to make sure it's just a bit easier for me. And, there we go. There you go, so they've all crapped off and that's, you know, they probably would have done anyway, but the fact that you just use a bit of WD-40 and uh, it should make your life a bit easier. You know, that's what it's there for, isn't it? Why, you know, why make things harder for yourself? That all come in now. Um, that one's still, that one needs working backwards and forwards. So, uh, you'll have to forgive the sound quality. I told you I got a new microphone. Uh, I did. And then my van got broken into that had my microphone in, my Bluetooth earphones and everything like that. And they stole it. So, yeah, I don't, I don't have a microphone anymore. Uh, so, I have to save up and get another one. What's this one like? Uh, one thing I have found with this micro is everything's a bloody 12 mil. I've never used 12 in my life. So, get yourself a, a decent... 
socket set that's got all your uh, all your options in. And it should be all right. Right, I'm not going to let M Mecky watch the rest of this. Uh, I'll get it to a point where it's ready to come off, and then I'll show you. All right, so got the exhaust manifold off there. I did ideally want to separate it from the uh, from the cat, uh, but. Uh, most of the bolts coming out and two are starting to round so that's a probably just have to drop it all as one unit to be fair uh, if I can try and get it off further down I will do but again they look really really rusty uh, I've also taken the spark plugs out now these were brand new and the car I've, I've not driven it far um, it's literally been going backwards and forwards so that, that's exactly what I'd expect really um, but I remember obviously those that have watched for a while will remember that I boroscoped the last oh, I pull the camera up a bit. There we go. I boroscoped the the last one. Uh, I went in the exhaust and I went down the um, down the spark plug to see the pistons and everything, saw the valves from the exhaust. I can't see the inlet ones yet, but we're at rock. I've uh, Got it again. <laughs> no, you can't put this in other places, so calm down, boys and girls. This is only for engines and hard to reach, hard to see areas. I've got other plans for it um, to look for, look in the uh, inner sills on the mini. Uh, they were they, 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 they were done, but I just want to double check in there and just make sure everything's, everything's as it should be. So, yeah, I'm going to plug this in now, and then what I'll do is I'll probably narrate over the top of it so you can uh, so you know exactly what's going on. So we've entered uh, piston number one, our bar number one, and you can see the top of the piston there. Uh, it's a bit black, uh, you, you know, I'm not going to expect shiny piston tops really, you know, for the uh, for the age of the engine and the mileage, and it's done about 80k. So, yeah, that's not too bad. You have to bear with me. It was pretty difficult to uh, to actually get this down the actual hole. Really, the uh, the camera was very very flexible, and it was just difficult. Again, you know, same story as number one. It's a bit black. You know, carbon build up. I suppose if you put it in most engines, that's what you'd more or less see. To be honest. And we're going to number three after we uh, bash it around for a bit and make you feel a bit sick. And there's number three, same story. Again, not 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 worried about that at all. It's uh, it's what I'd, what I'd expect really. At least I've got water and rust in there like the uh, like the other engine had. And then let's go down number four just to uh, just for good measure. Let's just tip this side for a bit first. And then we're in piston number four. Again, you know. For, you know, without taking the, the complete cylinder head off, which I don't really want to do right now. I'm going to try and get this uh, going as fast as I can. And then we go into the exhaust valves after I, uh, looks like I throw it around, but it's not. It's just because it's so, uh, it's so, so flexible. So again, valve number one. Again, you can't. It's very difficult to uh, to see. The quality is not not there really, but you know they're not rusty. You know that they, they look absolutely fine to me. Again, probably a bit coked up, but to be expected for the mileage mileage that the car's done. You know, we'll uh, we'll run what we brung more or less. You know, and see what we can do. So like I say, I mean, <clears throat> there's not really much to see and it's probably what I expected. It's pretty coked up, uh, but obviously referring back to the other one, you know, it's it's a, it's a million times better. It's what you'd expect to see for an engine that's, um, you know, not moved very much recently. So I think uh, I could blast and that, that should be okay. Uh, I don't know if you noticed an exhaust valve one, it seemed a bit wet. Again, I'm not 100% I'm not on that. Uh, the idea is is to uh, replace most things on the on this. So I've got a rock cover gasket bolts. You know, you know I'm a new bolt pervert, so them studs will be getting changed anyway for the exhaust. 
I'll be saying for the inlet. Uh, it'll have, it'll be having a new exhaust manifold on it and exhaust system. It'll be having a custom inlet and the throttle body. Let me just show you that. Where is it? This is the throttle body. Uh, it goes down on mine. It will probably come in out here. It'll be it'll be at the side. It'll be side mounted, and there'll be like a tubular uh, a tube there, and then going into the uh, into the actual engine <clears throat> so yeah i think mainly i'm just going to carry on taking stuff off really you know i've got all these pipes to come off and uh alternator to come off you know just take as much as i can off really until i'm ready to uh pull it out like i say i want to keep the loom in as in as uh, much in as intact as much as i can really uh and i didn't really want to disable the car yet but i think it's best that i do uh, because I, I just want it gone now. So the idea is get this engine out, drive shafts start, drive shafts, everything like that. Get the um, clocks and everything, gear selector will what I'll need as well because I'll need to modify that. Uh, and just get everything that I need, I could possibly need off this and just scrap the shell. You know, or I, I doubt the banger boys will want it now. And they're cheap enough, so you know I'll offer it up, and if someone wants to come get it, they can do. But yeah, I'm not team either to be honest. It is what it is, you know. Um, for what I paid for the car, you know, I wanted the engine and box, and that's what I got. So everything else to me is just, you know, it's, it, if if they give me thirty quid for the shell, they can have it. So yeah, so I'm waffling now. So I'll uh, I'll take some more bits off and I'll come back. <sighs> Knackered. Been using a buzz gun for everything recently, and I thought, well, these bolts are a bit rusty, and I'd rather take my time. So I've been using a ratchet peasant. Uh, better than just spanners though, because we've all got a set of ratchet spanners as well. So yeah, it's all coming off. Uh, to be fair, I'll, uh, I'll flip the camera around. In fact, I should be able to just bring you in like this. Yeah. So the first thing I want to speak about was this lot. This is a thermostat, and it's rank. You see that? So I was a bit like, oh, you know, is that going to be a problem? But then I took the lower pipe off. And bear in mind, I've already taken the rad off and I've seen the water anyway, and it looks it looks okay. And again, there's no in there, so I presume the thermostat's pretty gummed up. Uh, it, I'd be getting a new one anyway. Um, I've taken most, uh, again, if you can turn you around there. So originally here was battery, battery tray. Um, that's all gone now. Uh, and loom, there was loads of loom around here. The, the micro's come in like two separate looms, really. So that one's going that way, and I presume this lot will be going somewhere over there. So we'll have to double check that, uh, see where that's going to. Uh, a lot of earth wires scattered around. Um, so again, it's important to take your time with them because, again, another reason why a lot of cars don't start is, is earths. Um, when I were down here, uh, as you can see, the alternator was there. I had power steering fluid um, cooler here. That's all out now, mostly on my floor. Hey ho. Um, and I think that's it. Let me just show you this bloody loom. So this is all from, so there's headlights on there again, which I won't be using, but this is the uh, main fuse box. So you've got in there, you've got rad fan, ABS, again, what we'll be using, um, battery, ground, uh, rear lights. So again, we'll have to work out what we're using from that. And then there's your main, main relays and things like that. So that's all one loom that's managed to come out of the inner wing. And that's it. In there for now, uh, and I think that's a lot. I think that's more or less it, really, for now. Anyway, I'm gonna go back in. Uh, it's Sunday and spend a bit of time with the family, and, they, and I think she's starting that celebrity crap out tonight, so I'm a celebrity crap. Um, so, yeah, so I'll probably come back out and do a bit more later. Uh, like I say, it's, it's just basic strip down, really, just take your time. Uh, like I say, I've done it a few times now, and you end up ripping them apart and thinking, ah. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, but hey ho, but yeah, this uh, it's coming apart pretty easy. There's some dodgy, dodgy Jubilee clips on it. They're really weird. Um, not a massive fan of them. Uh, but the clips are all coming undone, which is nice, because uh, that's usually can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's for the airbox, that. So yeah, so again, I'm waffling, but I'm back. I've got my garage now. Uh, I'll give you a tour of my garage over the next few, uh, or hopefully the next one or maybe the one after that. Uh, it's nothing too special, but yeah, I'm proud of it. Um
absolutely knackered now. Uh, so yeah, as with it, as with most things, you know, as you get older, you learn, take your time, you know, think about it logically. Like I say, labelling up, I think, is going to make a massive difference. Hopefully, when it goes back together, I say that, and then I'll still be lost. Uh, wiring is not my game. I've got a friend that's going to do that for me. Uh, yeah, like I said, the thermostat being gummed up. It's just one of the things you take most off. They look like that after, especially if they're not run. Um, I think that's it. So yeah, I'm gonna go inside, get cleaned up. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.